So um, the other big thing that you guys are talking about this weekend at the show is uh, Marvel Comics 1000 yep. um, and the, the Marvel 80th anniversary. And I, I feel like um, every few years you get an opportunity to say, we have an anniversary for the line as a whole. We have an anniversary for certain characters and you kind of get to build something around that. Uh, was there, I guess, a, a, a North Star for 80 years? Was there a North Star that led to this Marvel Comics 1000 one shot? Yeah, you know, we were figuring out how to celebrate the 80th anniversary because, you know, uh, it's just, again, going back to that, look back at the past and respect the future. We knew we wanted to go back to past creators, bring back past storylines, tell, you know, one shots and miniseries, not just with the superhero genre, but with a lot of the other genres, be it horror, you know, romance, sci-fi, the other things that Marvel or Timely and Atlas were known for, you yeah. know, previously. And, um, you know, our distinguished competition, uh, you know, put out two amazing specials celebrating their 80 years, you know, uh, with, with Batman and Superman 1000, and we looked at those, and we said, those are great, but, you know, they were pretty much the same in, in scope and the same kind of in the way that they were formatted, and we said, we want to do something completely different, uh, and that's where Tom Brevoort came up to with the idea for, let's get one creative team to tell a story about one year in Marvel Comics history with one character, and then somehow tie them all together. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an easy job, yeah. And I... I I read the full final, I read it in different stages as it came through, and I kind of knew what Tom was going for, but seeing it all put together, I still do not know how him and his team of editors and his team of creators put this thing together so seamlessly with Al Ewing right in the spine, who was a, lifted a lot, did a lot of lifting here, that connects Marvel Comics number one to every Marvel comic since, <laughs> telling a story that we've never seen before that's been on the background of the Marvel Universe, introducing a new character, and tying everything seamlessly together with facts about Marvel Comics hidden on every page through. Yeah, yeah. It is a monster. And I, after I read the final finished issue, I went to press. I s talked to Tom, and I said, Tom, hats off to you, because there is no other person in editorial history of comics who could have done this except for you. Oh, man. Well, speaking of, uh, you know, Mark Waid is also working on this History of the Marvel Universe book, which is like, who else could write that book, right? It, exactly. You know, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, what, I guess, did you guys give him any kind of notes or guidance on what you wanted from that? Or was it just like, okay, Mark, we know that you've written damn near every character in the line. Like, you can figure it out from here. Uh, we did a story back, I think it was around Captain America's anniversary, I forget which year, where it was the uh, history of Captain America told in uh, one-page splash pages. I think David Aha drew it. Mm. And we wanted something, we thought we could do something similar to that. So that's where the germ of the idea came from. And then Mark took it and said, oh, no, I have much bigger plans. Yeah. And almost turned it into this beautiful illustrated story of the history of Marvel across, and it's not fully like this, but double page spreads. And just the, the, the story just moves from, you know, left to right. As you read a comic, it takes full advantage of the medium of, of comic book reading to kind of just give you this beautiful visual history from the first seed of Marvel history chronologically through up to where we are now. And has Mark done that Marvel style? I mean, I know sometimes he does script after if things are drawn, or has he yeah. had a little bit more stronger hand? No, he, uh, he, he's done it Marvel style. He's working with Javier Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, Javier is a masterful storyteller, a, a Marvel fan through and through, just like, you know, Tom, Mark, uh, you know, myself. And he's been able to add his own kind of flair to it visually to really bring Mark's, you know, words to life. It's Mark's going to have trouble finding places to put the war balloons <laughs> yeah. and the text boxes because there's almost no piece of art or any corner of the, every page that's not beautiful and what you should cover. 